Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today we're going to be revisiting another of the solo campaigns in Still Division. This one is Atlantic Wall. Now this was a pseudo history campaign that I actually really really enjoyed but let's read the description. By the end of June 6th, a small camp grouper from the 21st Panzer had managed to reach Leon Sumir, effectively splitting the British-Canadian beachhead in two and threatening the very landings at Sword and Juno beaches. Yet, lacking support, it had to retreat for fear of being overrun by the Allied tide. What if Rommel, overstepping the Führer's orders, had massively thrown the available Panzer divisions against the Allies' beachhead, his old 21st Panzer leading the charge from the earliest hours of the assault. Might history have been different? We'll start with mission one, of course, the common. The mission order is as follows. Oberstrauch. The long-awaited Allied invasion has begun here in Normandy. Field Marshal Rommel has no doubt that it is not a diversionary operation, but the Allies' main attack trying to establish a bridgehead. As our division's most advanced battle group, your primary objective is to hold the enemy tight and prevent its assault units from linking up with the paratroopers dropped at our back during the night. Your secondary objective, if feasible, is to provide support to the 736th Grenadier Regiment's battalion besieged in Huishram and prevent its destruction. The main objective is prevent the enemy from reaching Beneville. Let's go ahead and jump right in. On the morning of June 6th, the long-awaited Anglo-American invasion in France finally began. Spurred by Stalin's orders, the Western Allies have thrown all their forces into the battle in Normandy, where they have run right into our impregnable Atlantic Wall. The battle is now engaged under the command of Field Marshal Rommel. The Desert Fox had placed his old 21st Panzer Division, the Heroes of the Africa Corps, on alert and unleashed them in a counter-attack against the British north of Khan in the very first hours of the invasion. The invasion has begun, Herr Major. Field Marshal Rommel is on the way back from Bavaria and is already planning a counter-attack. In our sector, the invaders are British. Third Infantry Division at Lyon sur Mer commandos at Wistraham. More troubling are the many reports of Anglo-Canadian paratroopers being dropped during the night east of the Orne River. They have taken control of the last bridges standing over it at Benneville, thus preventing any movement from our reserve panzer divisions against the invasion's flank. Major von Luck's Kampfgruppe is advancing to engage them, with Obern Opel's panzers being expected to reinforce them later this afternoon. Our Kampfgruppe is in the most advanced position closest to the landing zone. We are the only ones at hand able to hold back the expansion of the enemy beachhead. British troops are moving inland with armored support. They are trying to link up with and reinforce their paratroopers at Benouville Bridge. Our orders are to prevent that link up at all costs. Failure to do so will doom any attempt at wiping out the paratroopers and recapturing the bridge. A battle group from the 736th Grenadier Regiment is still holding in Wistraham. They are besieged by Allied commandos supported by amphibious tanks. Deprived of leadership or supplies, they won't hold much longer. If we could stretch our line and help them repel the assault, we would save a good number of men to bolster our ranks for future operations. 
We can't let them reach that point. Elements from the 736 Grenadier are holding Oystraham here. Compose your battle group. So here we are in the first mission of this campaign. And I actually remember, remember this quite fondly. I had a lot of fun with this mission last time. I believe we get attacked by a massive amount of infantry on the top side here. So we'll be able to defend that quite nicely. But you can't reinforce this after the start of the game, at least not easily, because all of your land reinforcements come in from the bottom left on the opposite side of the map. So we're going to have to deploy a sizable amount in Reistrum early on and try and save these 88s since you can use them, I believe, in the next mission if you keep them alive. Uh, let's go ahead and compose our battle group. So for recon, I'm very tempted to bring in actually these 222s with the Alfkala. They can be great for mopping up infantry very easily. It might be better to have those than the spear throop, but I'd also like to have some spear throop in the cubals, so we'll see if we can free up an activation slot to get those. Our Panzer Grenadiers, supported by their armored transports, are unmatched. Their Panzerfaust can destroy any tank at close range. But keep in mind to avoid wasting them, as we won't get replacements anytime soon. So I'm tempted to just bring in these bunch of Panzergrens with a couple of the Panzergren Führer, because having enough command both for Huistrum uh, and uh, our forces is a struggle otherwise. I guess I could bring in another unit of Panzergrens if I find the free activation slot. Our only tanks are those obsolete French Somoas. They can provide fire support against lighter armors, but don't squander them against enemy Shermans as they can't match them. I don't think we need the Befell Panzer 35S, so we'll get rid of that. That's going to free up one slot. The SDKFZ 250-9, with its 20mm autocannon, is deadly against infantry and light vehicles, but it must be kept away from enemy tanks. We still have a short time to position troops in Oysterham in support of the garrison. No doubt some ammo supplies would help them hold their position. I'm tempted to drop the 232 in order to get more supply in phase A. That way I can I can leave some in Weistrom early on and then still have some for myself. It really does depend how much we're going to use, because the only thing I'm going to need to resupply is probably uh, the Panzerfausts. Pack 38, Pack 40 and S307 anti-tank guns are our best assets to win this battle. We'll have to position them skillfully to shoot enemy tanks at long range or from the side. So we can maybe set up a couple of tank ambushes with these Pack 38s, but I'm much preferring the use of Panzer Shreks. Let's uh, remove the Pack 38 and get these Panzer Shreks. I'm not sure what else I want to remove. Maybe the SJ7 pack would be a good one to remove and then just have the Pack 40s. Since the availability of the SG07 packs is very limited. Although having them in phase A is quite useful actually. So let's let's get the SG07 pack for now. As for anti-air, I think the anti-air is looking fine. I don't think this is really going to be something that we focus on too much. The Flak 36s are definitely necessary. But we could maybe switch out one of these for the U304 Flak. Just so they have a bit of armor. As for artillery... The Werfer could be useful in order to stop infantry from running us down, but my Panzergrenz should be able to do that. The only issue with the Panzergrenz is if they're opening up from range and I'm relying on Panzer Shreks, then the tanks should rip them to part, rip them to pieces. So yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure if I should remove these or not. The allies are dominating the sky. Should we call U87D for air support? We will have to keep them close to our flak cover or under ME109 escort. So there's JU87s, but uh, they do have Spitfires, I believe. So probably best if we just go for the ME109 G0s and then just strafe stuff if we need to. Yeah, that'll do. So we got one point extra. I think I'm going to put it into the spear throop. 
It's just whether or not I want to have a field factor there for her. And I don't think I do. We're going to go for the extra infantry instead. Right, that'll do. I think that's uh, relatively decent. It's just a shame we can't get any better artillery in phase A. Otherwise, I'd probably bring it. But that will have to do. How many points do we actually get in phase A? 110 points per minute. That's actually pretty nice. I wonder if that increases. If it does, then that would be very, very good. Not sure if I'm going to even need that much, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's focus on what we're putting in the Eastern first, uh, and then I can work with what I've got left. So, Black 38 and Spearthrope here, we, we actually have control of these. They're in really dodgy positions, so I think I'm just going to move this Black 38 back into the town somewhere. Probably just here will do. And then the Spearthrope, they need to move back. I guess we could go to one of these buildings, maybe. I could just put it in this tree line and then put them on return fire. I think I might do that. Right. Then what I need to do is make sure I'm covered off against tanks. And well, tanks can get pretty close on this bottom side. I'm tempted to like drop some Panzer Shreks in here somewhere. We could maybe have a couple more Panzer Shreks here accompanying this one with like a Panzer Gram behind it to shoot down any infantry that gets close. I think I might do that. Let's do double Panzerschreck. Uh, Panzergren. One good thing about this campaign, actually, is uh, I think the 21st Panzer's only ever been buffed. So these U304 half tracks are now cheaper than they used to be when this campaign was originally available. So technically, that should make things a bit easier rather than harder, which a lot of you guys have been saying it should be. And um, Alfklader. On the top side is useful. A bunch of infantry normally comes here. So having that 222 there is great. I need com command and supply. I don't know why I said command first, but uh, yeah, supply and then command. Uh, we can put command in the same place actually, uh, covering the 88 and all of this infantry. I could probably use command on the bottom side, but is there a building that's close enough? Maybe this one's close enough to get the 88. I don't want them to be at the front though, so maybe we'll try this one. If not, we can just pick them up in the half track and move somewhere else, but that's fine. So we'll just unload all of these where they are. Um, that can unload, that can unload. And I might leave maybe a couple 259s here as well. Or even a tank might be a good idea, like a, two, a Panzer 35. I'm not sure if they have like any Humbers and stuff. I guess there's potential for it, so it might be worth leaving a Panzer 35, but that's 75 points when a 259 is only like 35 points. I guess we have the 88s to shoot anything that's light armoured. So we'll, we'll, we'll rely on those. Okay, so I've got 200 points left at the moment to secure St. Aubin. Not going to be attacking into Colville. I think it's completely pointless. Unless I just put a bunch of Panzergrams in here, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. Now we'll just uh, defend at St. Aubin. Right, uh, let's grab some Panzerschrex. And that's all I can afford. Okay, well, we best find good places for these then. I think one good place is probably this building, because that covers off this road, which I remember a bunch of troops come down. And then the other roads are these roads where they attack. So we'll put one in here. I'll put one in here. And then I'll have this one somewhere around here. I guess probably this building is the best. So let's put it in there. And we will launch the battle. I think that's everything done. Okay, good. Uh, let's move these uh, U304 packs to the top side where the M4s do not come in. Unload that command as well. Does it cover? It does cover the 88. That's great. All right, this U-304 can move up there as well. Uh, let's move the 222 into line of sight with the 259. I move this 259 into position. And that is a Spitfire. Not going to be able to drop his bombs. That's good. Uh, I may as well move back this U-304. Actually, I, could, I guess I could just keep it hidden behind the building. That's fine. 
Mm, those Panzer X might be a bit out of position. If they attack on this road, then uh, I don't know if we'll be in range. Maybe just. Right, so far, this infantry is getting torn to pieces as it tries to run up. Also, uh, Vickers HMG there. Yeah, these 259s. Been doing a nice amount of damage. You got the uh, the pack there as well. I can engage them. It's only got one HE though, I think, so it won't be doing too much damage. It's a lot of infantry. This is actually a really good target for like a Vilfak Verfer. It's a shame we don't have those. Uh, let's go for some Panzergrens now. Probably put some down here actually. This is the crossroads that leads to this road, so we'll put some stuff there. We'll put one there as well. Oh, that's a tank. Where's that going? They're coming up here. Oh, maybe these panzer tracks will be just in the right place. Maybe not this one. I'm tempted to maybe move it forwards, but I don't want to get it too close. And I can move back. I'll move the U-304 pack in there. I'll put this one in this orchard. Just need to hide those because otherwise the tanks will just annihilate them. I should probably bring in some command here, so let's do that. Uh, I could probably use some command down on this bottom side. Actually, let's just bring in a Panzergren that can go into that building. I'll uh, bring in some Panzergrens there as well. I'm just going to have as many Panzergrens as I can just spread out in all of the buildings. Right, that's a 25 pounder. Should probably try and strafe that to death with the uh, ME109s. We have uh, the Sherman 2s arriving. And the same deal here. I just want to make sure that these don't. I guess I can just have that on fire. It's fine. There we go. Sherman 2 down. Oh shit, there's another one. Oh, good. Okay, it might end up engaging my Panzergrens, which should suck. So let's just put them on return fire and hopefully they'll hide themselves. Okay, that's the uh, Spitfire. I've already seen one of them, so they must have two. Unload that. All of these units just need to unload when they get to their positions. Okay, that U-304 just needs to get out of there. Is that not fire? What's that aiming at? Don't even know. Well, that's job done. Need to be a little bit careful actually that I don't end up running out of ammunition for my Panzer Trek. So I'm going to bring in some ammo. I think it was my Panzer Grenz that actually ran out of ammunition last time. Uh, let's allow these Panzer guns to fire. Although that might not be a good thing if the uh, Sherman 2 is not dead. Now these speed through, they need to run. <laughs> they are getting decimated. Okay, uh, let's bring this 259 and 222 down. I can move that forwards as well. Oh, here we go. Go on, kill that Pan Sherman for me. Nice. Okay, now I can allow the Panzer Trek to open up. Or the Panzer Grenadiers will move the U304 out. Uh, down here, we're okay-ish. There's a lot of stuff trying to just like YOLO through. Oh, that's not good. Please shoot those guys. That's good. Okay. Right, we're okay-ish. A little bit worried about the six pounder. Uh, but so far, so good. Maybe I should bring in the S307 pack. I don't know these guys. That's uh, not quite in a good position there.
Yeah, we'll just let my Panstrikes do their thing. I should be able to take out these Shermans. Yeah, that's fine. Beautiful. So far, so good. My Opa Blitz got forced back, which sucks, but uh, we're still managing to wreck a lot of this stuff. Need to be careful with the six pounder. That comes through the tree line. I'm kind of doomed. Alright, that's the Sherman 2 weapon jam, so that's out of commission. There is this crocodile coming in. Uh, maybe we go for another Panzer Shrek here. And I'm gonna need some stuff that can maybe ambush from this left side. I might bring yeah, I'm gonna bring in the SJ7 pack and we'll just try and cover these roads, maybe. I don't know. Move it into here. Oh, there's another one. Another Sherman. Okay. Attempt to try and like push forwards here. I think we're out of line of sight of the M4, so it can't actually shoot at us. Allow that one to fire since it's in range. It needs to jump out the building. That one needs to jump in the building. Go on, kill it. Shoot a wound. Okay, it's not so bad. <laughs> Go on. Get it! Yes! Okay. Uh, these guys need to fall back. <laughs> uh, six pounders aren't dead. My spear throat died though. Uh, let's try and move this closer. I need to reload the uh, 88. Alright, let's uh... Oh, I captured in Bedford there, but uh, they didn't let me keep it. <laughs> Right, uh, Panzergrenz. I need more Panzergrenz here for the uh, the left side. Like they're trying to overwhelm us a little. Okay, I need to move this. Could use some Panzergrenz here as well, because all of the uh, infantry is getting destroyed. Why are those not getting resupplied? Okay, now they are. Right, what's happening up here? Uh, so far so good. Uh, let's maybe bring in the other ME109. Uh, I don't know if they stopped bombing us, but uh, so far we've done pretty well. Let's maybe move forward these guys down here. I think the Opal Blitz is just constantly being like RT'd or something. I don't know quite what's going on there. If I can strafe that, that'd be useful. Oh, my U-304 pack went down. That's not good. Oh, we internal fragmented the crocodile, though. That's good. Uh, let's unload these guys. These need to just move into the position that I told them to go. Yeah, because I need the U-304s to help out. Move the S uh, the U three hundred four sorry into a position to stop the infantry. All right, we've I think we've pretty much saved this top side for the most part. I'm a little bit concerned about that one unit though that's managing to break through. Let's just uh, zoom over there with the U three hundred four pack. Unload these two. Uh, make sure the Panzergrenz move into those buildings. Okay, that's fine. We lost a Panzerschreck. That's not good. Uh, that was the crocodile that did that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in range here unless I switch these around. Oh dear. Oh, the track will damage. Tragic. Okay, that Spitfire is falling back. Yes, okay, we got it. That Panzer track's almost out of ammunition. How long have we got left, actually? Uh, nine minutes. I'm nearly in position here, but... Uh, Need to get right up close and personal there to kill that. Oh bollocks. That needs to fire. 
Dame. <laughs> of course my Opa Blitz dies. It's fine. I don't really need the extra supply, so we should be fine. Uh, there is another Sherman coming. Would you look at that? Yeah, that's that M4 cleaned up. Thankfully, I didn't want that like breaking through almost like accidentally. Would have been rather tragic for sure. Can I take out the crocodile? I don't think you can see me. Yeah, it's dead. It's good. I don't know why they're loaded in there. That's kind of dumb. Oh well. Uh, so far, so good, for sure. Let's uh, maybe bring in some more Panzergrounds. If they don't have any, like, AT, then there's no reason why I can't use the U-304 to help the Panzergrounds in that position. I think the Panzerstrike here actually took out the M4 that was moving up. Oh, that's a crocodile. Yeah, that, that one. Okay. Actually, maybe my Panzergrenz did a couple more AT guns, I think, on the way. These Lloyd carriers. This is nuts, though. Like, for a, for a mission that's, like, the first mission of a campaign, this is absolutely crazy. There's, like, so many units. I don't remember there being this many units. Like, I really don't. Spitfire's gone. The Flag 41s are still alive, which is nice. Why is that not firing at the Lloyd carrier? I guess it doesn't need to anymore. <laughs> okay. How long we got left? 7 minutes, 10 seconds. There's quite a few units on their way. Thankfully this S307 pack's in a pretty good position. Let's uh, give a Panzergrenfjörder there. And this AT-8 is also in a really good position. Another. Oh, it's the same 25 pounder. I just haven't killed it. We'll go straight for that to death. Although the Bofors might stop us. Better fly away from that. Get the strafe and run in there. Another rifle squad going to go down. Oh, hello. That is two units of Spitfires. Okay. Did not expect that. Alright, I'm gonna fly over the top of Huistrom and hopefully we can <laughs> get the support of the 88s. <laughs> I did not expect them to come out with two Spitfires like that. That's a Panzergrand gone. Whoops. Did not need to lose that. I put that on return fire because I don't want the crocodile to kill it if it gets too close. I guess one thing I could do is maybe move the Panzerstreck through here aggressively. Not sure. But Weestrom seems secure. Relatively secure? I don't know. <laughs> Just got that Blimin 25 pounder still firing away with one health. Annoyingly. Their casualties are mounting. They won't be able to keep on coming this way much longer. Yeah, they're not within 100 meters, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's just wait until this gets in 150 meter range. That's so close, come on. Well, that'll do it. Although, actually, that's just short. That's kind of annoying. Mm, bollocks. Pull back. Oh, 
Do I have any more ammunition left? On this panzer track? I've got one left. Okay. Move forwards and kill that then. Hopefully. Nice. Okay. Uh, do we still have the ammunition here? No. My upper blitz got killed, didn't it? Don't know if I want to bring in another one. Just in case it gets killed as well. Then again, it doesn't look like there's actually much coming our way anymore. Bombing strike's going to come in. That's going to hit my Panzergrenz. That's rather rude. Let's maybe invest into a couple of Flak 36s. Just to stop them from killing any more units. Uh, my guys are going to smoke themselves. And yeah, this is U-304. I was just going to stop engaging that both. There's no point. So this is just Bren Group. That's pretty simple. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> I thought I kept both of them alive. That stupid 25 pound. <laughs> That's just so annoying. I'm not going to let it kill the other one. I'm just going to strafe it to death if I can. Although saying that, the both has, has made it so my ME109 is going to be inaccurate. And those Spitfires are going to come in as soon as I try and strafe this. Please. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Second ME109 is gone. Unless we get a little bit of a head start here. No, it's, it's dead. It's dead. Well, I guess we will just have to praise RN Jesus a little bit and hope that. We do not lose the other 88 to the 25 pounder. There is still stuff coming. Let's bring in that uh, bubble blitz just in case. I brought in the U304 flax just to stop this infantry from getting across here into the objective. I mean, the other thing that I probably could have done is, like, use the ME-109 to fly over the settlement here, like at St. Orban, and then use the Flak 36s to make the Spitfires fall back, and then kill them that way, but I don't know. I don't think my Flak 36 is going to be able to stop this bombing strike. Maybe they are. Let's go surrender all of these rifles Here as well. And there is only 23 seconds left. Yeah, it's a shame we lost our fighters, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not sure what else we lost though. Maybe a, un a unit of Panzergrenz, maybe a 259. Uh, these Panzergrands will keep alive. So I have them come back. We'll just surrender these lot. But that's mission complete. This respite could give us the time to regroup with the rest of the division. The 736 Grenadier will relieve us on our positions. Beautiful. That is victory after the 20 minutes and 15 seconds. Have a look at some of these kills. So the Panzerstreck saving our bums. That's for sure. I think it's very important to have Panzerstrecks in this uh, mission. If you are struggling, get those Panzerstrecks. All the Shermans died to them. Then we had a couple of crocodiles killed by Panzerstrecks as well. My U-304 actually claimed one of the Sherman 2 kills. So 
That's nice. But in terms of losses, what did we lose? Let's have a look. So both of the ME109 G0s, after failing to kill the 25 pounder, which sucked, um, we lost a Panzerstreck. We lost the Spethro. We lost one 259. And that's about it. Yeah, one Panzergren. Literally barely anything, which is great. Uh, really good. It's just a shame. Yeah, I mean, the ME109s, that sucks. Um, and losing the 88 sucks as well from the uh, Grenadier Division. Stupid 25 pounder. Why didn't it die? Oh, well. These things make the game fun, I, I suppose. <laughs> That's all for this mission though. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.